I'll share with you five tips on how you can pass your GCC Factories exam. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the GCC, Government Certificate of Competency, probably one of the most sought after accreditations or certifications, especially in engineering for mechanical and electrical engineers. Um, but it's also probably one of the most difficult to obtain as well. It doesn't have to be. So one of the reasons I started posting around the GCC is because when I got my certification a couple of years ago, it was a bit of a mission to, to find information online. I'll share with you guys some secrets and tips on how I went about um, looking for information and also just to put it out there so that it's not so difficult when someone's looking for information um, to ensure that it's in cyberspace and that you can easily look it up and find ways in which you can pass this examination and get your accreditation so that it's not so, not so difficult because there are people out there that have gone through the same process. It's just around how we open up channels of communication, engagement, sharing of information so we can make our societies better. So do make sure to check out all my other videos where I share how you can get your GCC in quick time, some studying strategies as well. Also, how you can pass your OSHACT exam first time round. So this video is more around um, five strategies or five secrets that you can, five hints or tips that you can follow. First things first is get a study pack. So even on the Department of Labor portal, they do specify the syllabus for you to cover for mechanical, electrical, and for mines. Um, but it is important that you find yourself a study pack that's going to help you study through all of that. If you guys recall, four years or five years of study and you go into industry, you start working, it's very easy, especially if you're not applying all of that, for you to forget some of those principles. So it's important that you get yourself a pack where there's summary of some of the theory and material, their questions, something to trigger your mind. So one of the resources that I found very useful was um, eMaps. So I'll leave a link below and an email for you to contact. It has everything in there around problems where you can solve, um, some questions for you to answer. They do also have memos in there, so you could always refer back and see if whatever it is that you're working through is correct or not even with some of the steps and calculations so most of us would have been out of school for a while and we're in industry so we would be applying some of the principles that we've learned one of the second things that you could do just to refresh your mind is do a refresher course there are facilities and institutions that do provide refresher courses covering the different syllabi, especially that that would be um, asked in your GCC. One that worked for me was VC's Engineering College. They look at the different topics, mechanical, electrical, have a group of people and do real quick summaries of those different um, subjects and courses with problems. You get homework, you need to work it out at home and come back into class. So these are after hours, so it is convenient for those of you guys that are working. And it's not every day of the week, two to three days a week in the evening um, for a couple of hours where you're working through problems, a summary of some of the first principles and some key fundamentals that you need to refresh yourself on on some of your courses. So do check them out, VCs Engineering College. I will leave the details and link below. I know there are other institutions and other companies that are offering similar um, similar courses and, and packs to make it easier for you to study. Um, I've mentioned Polycraft Engineering as well. So do get yourself a refresher course of sorts. It might help to trigger some things that you may have forgotten. But it is important that you build a bit of a community. So do join a study group where you guys can work together through problems. It does help because you bounce ideas off of each other. Someone may have gotten insights of something that you haven't been exposed to yet or something that you haven't worked through or seen first and it makes it a little easier and quicker for you to get through certain problems as well. So do try and join a study group with um, with friends or peers. You could even ask with your, with your college where you're writing of um, some individuals that you may know that are writing and sitting in as well. Some people you do meet through the refresher courses so you can link up afterwards or on weekends and study to Together and work through problems um, with one another. The fourth tip is getting back to basics. So the same way you would have gotten through your tertiary education um, or through your qualification is the same way that you need to almost apply for this, especially because you've got such little time. So the same way that you've gone through problems that have been faced in front of you or problems that have been placed in front of you, worked through them, passed, and now have moved on to the next step, don't get rid of all of that that you've learned. A lot of us have different learning styles. Some of us learn very well in isolation. We work perfectly well um, on our own with theory. Just give us all the books um, and we can get through it, no problem. Other individuals work um, and learn better socially or verbally or visually, so they need to see the calculations. So understand your own learning style and go back to basics. So understand the times in which you are at your peak when you study. So some individuals um, wake up really early to study, go to work, and then come back and rest. Others wake up, go to work, come back, and then study in the evening. Um, one of the key tips that I shared in my previous 
previous video, it's also applicable for this, is I spent four hours every single day for six months preparing for the GCC. On weekends, of course, it was a lot longer because you've got the benefit of the two full days, but definitely on weekdays, a minimum of four hours. If there were days where I missed one or two hours, I would make sure that I cover it the following day or at least sometime in the week. It is important that you put the time in. Imagine trying to fit four years worth of study within six months, so you must put the hours in. And last but not least is probably the most important tip for me, whether you're writing law or you're writing factories, is practical application. Everything that you're learning through your theory, through your calculations, take it back to your workplace. So if you've got a compressor problem in front of you, go and try and apply the same in where you're working at your factory with your compressor units there. If you've got a steam generation problem in front of you, Go back to your factory and see how that is applicable with the boiler that you've got on site as well. So it's not necessarily around cramming as much as possible, getting through the paper and then moving on. Because at the end of the day, you want it to stick. The best way to make things stick is through experience, through doing and through action. So there is the 70-20-10 rule where 70% of what you learn is through doing, through experience. 20% is through engagements and coaching and mentorship. And only 10% is through through theory and what you read. You invest a chunk of your time in applying back and applying it practically. With all the content and material that I've mentioned, I'll leave a link for you to get in touch below in the description. I'll also be sharing some past papers and materials also to help you guys study through your exams and keep the channels of communication open. I can share all the material and some of the experiences that I've had so that it's a lot easier for you. Comment below on which of the two exams is easier to prepare for. Is it the law exam or is it the practical exam? Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow, and lead for change. Shop.